All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 16 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. I just simply rewrite 16 as 4 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of m. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. And I have this minus 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to x to the power of 2, and b is equal to 4. So I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 times x to the power of 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. So now let me clear this up so I can make some more space. So I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 times x to the power of 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x to the power of 2 plus 4 is equal to 0, and I have x to the power of 2 minus 4 is equal to 0. So to solve x to the power of 2 plus 4 equals 0, I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 2 is equal to negative 4. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 4. Now, the square root of negative 4, that can be written at, or sorry, first off, the square root of x squared is simply x. And the square root of negative 4, that can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of negative 1. So now the square root of 4, that's simply equal to positive or negative 2. And the square root of negative 1 is actually equal to the Nagy number i. So I have x is equal to the positive or negative 2i. So these are two solutions. Now for x squared minus 4 equals 0. To solve this, I'm going to simply add 4 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll have x squared is equal to 4. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 4. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is equal to positive or negative 2. So my four solutions are x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to 2i, and x is equal to negative 2i. So this is my four solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have x is equal to x over 2. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by subtracting x over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I'll be left with x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have 2 times x minus x over 2 is equal to 2 times 0. Now, 2 times x minus x over 2, to solve that, all I have to do is simply distribute the 2. So 2 times x, that's 2x. And 2 times negative x over 2, the 2 simply cancel out. So I'll simply just be left with negative x. So I have 2x minus x is equal to 2 times 0 is 0. Now 2x minus x is x. So I have x is equal to, that's left is 0. So this is my solution. Now, another way of actually solving this problem is, let me actually erase all of this. So instead of actually subtracting x squared 2 on both sides, I can simply just multiply 2 straight away. So now I have 2 times x is equal to 2 times x over 2. Now 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times x over 2 the 2 simply cancel out, so I'll simply just be left with x. Now, if I subtract x on both sides, x minus x, these two cancel out, 
and 2x minus x is x, so I'm left with x is equal to x minus x is 0. So that's another way of solving this problem. All right, so now I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 8. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by reading my, rewriting my 4 here as 2 to the power of 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 8. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x, which is simply 2 to the power of 2x. So now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 8. Now 8, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, if you guys already didn't know, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x, this is equal to 3. Now to solve this, all I have to do is simply divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is one method of solving this problem. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I have 4 to the power of x equals 8. And now, I'm actually going to take Now, sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of x is equal to b, then x here is actually equal to log base a of b. And I can actually go ahead and prove this as well. So if I start with 4 to the power of x is equal to 8, can go ahead and take the log on both sides. So I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 8. And now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent of b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So I can move x to the front, so this would equal x times log 4 is equal to log 8. Now, if I divide both sides by log 4, I'll have x is equal to log 8 over log 4, which can be written as log base 4 of 8. So now that I have log base 4 of 8, I'm going to actually instead use this, this form, so log 8 over log 4. And log 8, that's simply equal to 2 to the power of 3, log 4, this is equal to 2 to the power of 2. So, now, if I move 3 to the front, and if I move 2 to the front, I get 3 log 2 over 2 log 2. The log 2's cancel out, and I'll be left with x is equal to 3 over 2. So that's the second method. 